last episode of Pop the Balloon was very interesting. And I want us to take a look at this clip because this woman right here, her name is Shancia. She's in her 30s. And she meets this gentleman in the lineup name. I want to say his name is Carlos. And Carlos is an interesting individual as well. Your name and age? Castro, uh, 34. Okay, and Castro, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, uh, my man didn't jump. So, you know, I just decided that uh, I had to pop it because, you know, I want that spark as soon as, soon as he going to tell me. Mm -hmm. He going to give me the sign. He going to tell me, yeah, go get that one right now. And, and it's didn't do it right. Yeah. Okay. So that was it. All right. Well, then. Oh, we. Into it. And thank you guys for watching. On the top over there. All right. Your name and age. And why did you have your balloon unpopped? Castro, 34. And why was your balloon unpopped? Uh, I mean, she's cool. She, I mean, I, I was looking at her. She, she, she looked nice, you know. Now, and I stand corrected. His name is uh, Castro, y'all. I messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. That's fine. Thank I you. really see too many, too many things I can complain about her. You know, make a reason to really pop it. I was just listening. Okay. Yeah. Why did we end up popping his? Too flashy. Um, I'm not a flashy person. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if you make money, that's fine and all. I just wouldn't want other people to know. Right. You just never know other people's intention. And if you're flashy, you just never know what you're bringing on. Sure. That's all. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, my job is to uh, provide and protect, you know. So even though the man's flashy, but uh, can he make sure we okay? You know what I mean? Yeah. Regardless. And that's another thing, too, I meant to say. The flashiness. And I understand what she's saying, right? You got on. Sometimes individuals could put on what appears to be every piece of jewelry that they have at home. And I understand what she's saying, right? If we're out and we're on a date or wherever we are, I just don't want people to be solely focused on us because you have on all this jewelry, these watches, these you know necklaces, so on and so forth. Plus, you got the drip on. It could be a lot. It could be overwhelming in terms of you know your appearance. And again. You know, there's nothing wrong with looking nice, spending money, you know, whatever you want to do in your budget, that's your business. But there should be kind of like an even ground when it comes to wearing nice things, driving nice cars, as well as, you know, having to have everything on to try to, it comes across in her opinion as you're trying to show off and be flashy. It was hypocritical. Here you call out this man's flashy attire. And I wanted to say this too. When this woman first walked out, she is very beautiful, great body, very curvy. But the first thing that kind of caught my attention outside of just her physical attractiveness was the fact that her attire was very revealing. And her dress has her cleavage out. I mean, not just cleavage. It's like a deep cut in the cleavage. Every, the girls is out, okay? Plus, she has a, um, this dress that's form-fitted, and it also has a high split. Now, I'm to the belief that you got to kind of pick as a woman, especially if you're going out in public, which of your assets you want to kind of highlight, right? So if you want to show your cleavage, I think that you will show some neckline and maybe cover up the rest of you. And when I say cover up, you do not need to have only full length down to your ankles if that's how you, you know, choose to dress or choose not to dress. In my opinion, I think you should let one part of your assets kind of be the focal point, for lack of better words, and have some modesty to you about the other attire or areas of your body. I think that to have a form-fitted dress with a high split in the dress, as well as your cleavage out, and it's a deep cut in the cleavage, you know, I think that's a bit much. And her back is out, okay? At least the shoulders on down to armpit level, all right? But let's continue. Whether he's flashy or not, whatever he has. So uh, we can't drive a flashy car, nice car, well, because we got to worry about somebody trying to take something because they don't have it. But the thing is, can he protect you? Yeah. Can he protect you when you're in these streets when we stand flashy? Because, girls, you're going to spend money wherever you go. So we got to look at we at the lowest hotel totem pole because we scared what somebody else thinks. <laughs> no, I think not. I'm going to show out wherever I go. Yeah. Mm. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. That's all. I feel you. You got that ass on them titties. Oh, thank huh? you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> That was the first thing I saw. I said when I saw uh, Sean Sia walk out. I said, "Girl, you got the T and the A out, girl." She was not playing around. And again, she has a great body. She's very beautiful in the face. But I just think, in my opinion, girl, 
you can't be hypocritical of this man talking about he's flashy as if you're not flashing that T and that A for everybody to see, girl. We're going to have to stand on business with that thing. <laughs> Girl, she said, I'm going to have the T out. I'm going to have this form-fitted dress on, and it's going to have a high split. Girl, you know that you did not have to have all of that going on because when you are a naturally curvy woman, you it's, it's really difficult to hide your curves, you know, you know, with your body, something that's not necessarily swallowing you up, but you're not bringing so much attention to yourself either. And if you got it, you got it. You can't help it, right? But to have all of that out on the first date, she said, look, I'm leaving here with something. I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Yeah. I mean, you can you can have the chainsaw. I think for me, it's just I've had situations with guys that are very flashy and things would come about that I just don't want to be in a situation in. So it's just if you're flashy, that's fine for you. But. I don't want that for me. I understand. And you, you're absolutely right, though, because it has blown things before past time. I and mean, you do have to correct it over time. And some people got to learn, you know, some people got to get a hard head. You got to teach them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I ain't going to play with it. But uh, you, you do look good. I will say that you're <laughs> handsome. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Castro. <laughs> All right, y'all. Our lip was cracking up. And our perception as women of about what's uh, flashy, what brings attention, we don't necessarily see the same thing the way that men do. But let's be honest. She knew exactly what she was doing when she put that dress on. OK, like I said, I am not a hater. Um, I see a very beautiful woman and I actually don't find an issue with the dress. See, the issue is not that she has this dress on. The issue is the location in which she is wearing or the setting in which she is wearing the dress. Right. That's a dress that you wear, in my opinion that you wear when you are at home with your man in the bedroom, right? I think this is basically neck and neck with some lingerie. Like wear something really, really sexy like that when you are at home with your man having a date night or y'all about to get down in the bedroom. Oh, that's right. When you wear this type of attire, ladies, it does give men this idea that, you know, you kind of don't want to be low key or discreet yourself. And again, I like the fact that although Castro, he, you know, he stood on business. He said, look, I, as a grown man that works, that, you know, whatever he has to do for himself, he doesn't feel like he should have to suppress his wealth or the fact that he's doing well in life just because people out here control their own impulses. They may have, you know, issues and they may be jealous or whatever the case. They're just on scam time, so on and so forth. He feels like as a man. I have to ready at any given time in case people want to be on that time. But he also understands that as a man and as a person, you don't necessarily have to always present yourself because you can have the best intentions. You can prepare all you want. You just don't have to always bring unnecessary attention to yourself. So I'm, you know, I'm glad that, you know, he understood that and I think she also understood where he was getting it, right? You know, yeah, he's bringing attention to himself with the jewelry and the attire, but you are also doing the same thing. You are still bringing attention to yourself. Reality is that there are also individuals who they were given an opportunity to be inappropriate with you. They may unfortunately do that because of how we may present ourselves. And sometimes you could be fully covered up and that wouldn't matter, but you want to mitigate risk. Right. And that's exactly what it is. We're not saying that you should not be able to express yourself through your dress and your accessories. But as women, we should be a lot more thoughtful when it comes down to the things that we wear, because how we look does matter. I just think that as women, there is some visibility and modesty as well. You know, you don't have to have all your assets out. If you have great legs, wear a nice, appropriate length dress. When appropriate, I don't mean you need to wear a dress that comes down to your ankles. But if you're going to wear a dress that hits right above the knee, must you have a deep cut in the cleavage? Where if you have to be, you know, walking on eggshells if you bend over, you know, if you want to wear your back out, that's cool. But I don't know if we should be wearing our back out along with a high split in the skirt and our uh, cleavage hanging out. I thought this does not mean 
You don't have to be sexy or you can't be sexy. You can do both. Right. And as a, myself being a woman who is curvy um, and has always been as a young adult, now an older woman, I definitely have understood that as I've grown into my womanhood that, you know, you definitely can dress no matter what your size is, no matter what your shape, but you have a way where you can still be, you know, presentable and you can still be modest, yet you can still bring your individuality and have a sense of sexiness as well. All right. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Y'all, he said what you're not going to do is, you know, not think I was going to match. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Into the next video. Peace. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, God damn it, I'm not.